Hey, how's it going there everybody? It's Taylor here, and in this video we're going to be looking at some hidden bonuses for some skills in Diablo 2, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. The Amazon's Valkyrie gets a hidden synergy from Decoy, and you can see Decoy is already listed as a synergy under Valkyrie, but what's not listed is that every physical skill point that you put into Decoy, it gives the Valkyrie plus 2 to all resistances. There's a hidden minimum shots effect on strafe, so what that means is a strafe will fire at least a certain amount of shots at one monster, but it'll fire up until the strafe limit if there's more than one monster. The Assassin's Skill Fade has a hidden bonus for physical resistance, so it doesn't show on your skill or on your uh, character's screen, but you get 1% uh, percent physical resistance for every level in Fade, and it goes up to 50, so it'll be capped at 50%. The Assassin also has a little hidden ability to open locked chests in the game uh, without needing a key in her inventory, so she's kind of a lockpick. The Paladins resist fire, cold, and lightning auras, so uh, these skills have hidden bonuses for maximum resistances, so uh, for yourself and your nearby uh, party members, you'll receive up to 20% uh, maximum resistance for uh, whichever you know skill you use, and um, you'll also still get maximum resistances um, if you have hard points into the skills, so for example, if you have uh, 10 hard points into resist fire, your uh, pally will have plus 5 to uh, maximum fire resistances. Blessed Dame gets a passive bonus for uh, every hard point that you have in Blessed Dame. Uh, your attack rating goes up 5% on your character even when the aura is inactive. The Barbarian Skill Leap has a hidden knockback radius, so Leap has a radius um, which the knockback effect is caused and it goes up about 0 0.66 uh, yards per level, so you know, a high level Leap will be able to knock back a whole screen of uh, monsters, but it's just something that's not shown, you know, on the skills, so I thought I would include it in this video here. The Necromancer's Iron Golem, so you can uh, summon the Iron Golem with an aura if you use an item that gives you an aura when it's equipped. For example, uh, if you created an Iron Golem out of a Beast Rune Word, the uh, Iron Golem would get the Fanaticism aura that you usually get when you equipped a Beast Rune Word. The Poison Shrine. So I thought I would include this even though, you know, it's a video more on uh, classes and skills, but, uh, you know, I thought I would include it anyways. But uh, the shrine that spits out, you know, poison potions and creates a cloud of uh, poison gas, that shrine also gives you a poison duration of zero. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video there, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and uh, subscribe for more Diablo 2 content, but that's the end, so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.